Now we are going to talk about Python. Python is a powerful language and has a lot of amazing libraries for AI and machine learning, which makes it a very popular language these days. Since you already know PHP and you are familiar with the programming concepts in general, transitioning to Python is going to be very easy and quick. In this video, we'll walk through the top concepts that you should know when transitioning from PHP to Python. One of the first thing you'll notice in Python is no curly braces and use of indentation. While PHP uses curly braces to define blocks of code, Python relies on indentation. Proper indentation in Python is crucial for the code to run correctly. And also there are no semicolons. In PHP, variables are prefixed with dollar sign. But in Python, variable names do not use any prefixes. Both PHP and Python are dynamically typed, which means you don't need to declare variable type explicitly, which makes them very powerful and very easy. Working with strings are very common in almost all the programs we write. In PHP, strings are concatenated with dot or we could use double quotes and use a variable directly inside them. Python uses plus to concatenate strings but in Python it's more efficient to use an approach called fstring which makes string formatting much simpler. Arrays are very important and in PHP arrays are very versatile and can be used for both indexed arrays and associative array. In Python, these concepts are split into lists which are like indexed array in PHP and dictionaries which are like associative arrays. Lists are defined like arrays in PHP but dictionaries look more like a JSON file. Loops and iterations are quite similar in both languages. One of the main difference is that PHP uses parentheses, but in Python there are no parentheses, not in loops, not in conditions. In Python, there is no for each, but for can be used like for each in PHP or normal for in PHP. Both are very close to the English language, which makes them very easy to read. In PHP, it's like the sentence for each fruits as fruit, and in Python, it's like the sentence for fruit in fruits. While loop is almost identical in both languages. The concept of null and handling it, it's very important. In PHP, we call it null, but in Python, it's called none. In PHP, we can check if a value is null by both of these ways. And in Python, we write if that value is none. Other than that, you can see writing the conditions with if and else is also identical in both languages. Like in loops, in Python, we don't use parentheses. PHP and Python both support object-oriented programming, which makes both of the languages really powerful but the way we handle and define a class in Python is quite different. For the construct method in PHP, we use init in Python. In PHP, we use this, and for static methods, we use self. In Python, we use self, but the thing that might be a bit strange for PHP developers is the concept of self in Python classes. In Python, you have to pass self as the first argument of each function of the class. But it doesn't have to be named self, you can call it anything. But for better reading, almost everyone is using self as a naming convention. Also, there are no specific keywords for accessibility of the properties and methods. We use public, private, and protected in PHP, but in Python, there are no such thing. Then it comes the inheritance. A class extends another class in PHP, but in Python, you pass the parent class as an argument. When creating an object of that class in PHP, we use the keyword new, but in Python, it doesn't need that. 
and we use arrows to call the methods of that class in PHP, but in Python, we use dots. Both languages are very powerful, but in my honest opinion, PHP seems more clean and more readable in terms of object-oriented programming. It's just my opinion. The power of both languages comes from the amazing libraries and packages they have. In PHP, we use Composer for package management. The equivalent of that in Python is pip. PHP, we run Composer require some package. Then in our file, we require the vendor autoload and then start using the classes of that package. In Python, we run pip install some package and then we import the whole package by calling import some package or you can import only part of it. And to do that, we say from that package, import some class. Another very useful concept is exception handling. In PHP, we use try catch. In Python, it's try accept. Again, there are no parentheses in Python. Nowadays, with so many APIs that are out there, knowing how to use them is also very important. In PHP, we can simply use curl or we could use some packages like guzzle. In Python, we can import the requests library and then use that for our API calls. Overall, transitioning from PHP to Python requires to adapting to new syntax rules and conventions, but the underlying concepts remain familiar. As we have seen in other videos, you can start machine learning and AI development with the libraries that are out there for PHP, but Python is more popular in AI community and Python's rich ecosystem makes it an excellent choice for PHP developers like you looking to expand their skill set. That's it. Enjoy coding.